when I joined Intel, uh, Intel was a memory company. Uh, they had never designed uh, complex random logic circuits. My major contribution was to figure out a way to integrate all the complexity of a CPU into a single chip, which had never been done before. The biggest value that the microprocessors brought to the world is to be the core element of the information revolution that uh, we are in the middle of, in the midst of. In that sense, the microprocessor is similar to the engine. And the engine was the core of the industrial revolution that has characterized the last couple of hundred years. Uh, the engine extended the muscular power of human beings and thus make, uh, enabling the industrial revolution. The microprocessor extends the intellectual capacities, the brain power of human beings, thus extending you, the human reach into areas that an engine cannot. What is the future of uh, computers and will they challenge human intelligence? Well, the, in the future I see, of course, more of the same, uh, faster, cheaper, uh, more power, uh, power effective uh, uh, microprocessors and microcontrollers, of course. But the new defining object of the future may well be quantum computers. Quantum computers, which today are still not a reality, they are being studied in many universities and research centers, uh, but they promise to change in a fundamental way the nature of computing by allowing to compute way beyond what a mechanical computer like a traditional microprocessor can do. As for whether computers, whether quantum or not, can rival in human intelligence, I have my doubts. I think that human intelligence, of course, uh, in, the lower as in the lower manifestations of it, uh, will be aided tremendously by computers. Uh, but there are aspects of human capacities that have to do with intuition, with will, with intention, with imagination, with creativity, all those aspects. I don't believe any machine can, uh, can really uh, replace. And in that sense, the machines will be quite helpful because they will allow human beings to recognize what makes them human and will recognize how more powerful a human being is than a machine. Since I retired from business a couple of years ago, uh, I have started a nonprofit foundation for the study of consciousness. Uh, consciousness, in my way of looking at is the new frontier, uh, is what defines uh, a human being and distinguishes it from a machine. Consciousness is the ability that human beings have to experience, to think, to know that they know or to know that they don't know. Uh, a machine cannot do that. And I think it's very important that uh, that study um, can highlight and help highlight what consciousness is, how does it work, uh, because it will allow us to understand more crisply what is really human in us.